Greetings from Basel, Switzerland and Clinarian. I'm Douglas Drake, and much like all of you working from the comforts of my home during this bio. I want to share a picture of some of us from Clinarian and a virtual meeting so you see some of our team and our smiling faces. Regardless of our immediate circumstances, Clinarian shares the same goal as many of you toward enabling better healthcare and patient outcomes. We focus on digital enablement and have a global hospital network of over 29 million patients. Who is Clinarian? Well, Clinarian is a global digital healthcare company based here in Basel, Switzerland. What do we do? We enable hospitals and clinical researchers to better treat patients by helping them better visualize a patient's journey and care through their electronic medical records. Clinarian has a reciprocal agreement with the hospital's caregivers in our network. We provide a digital framework that the hospital can use to better monitor and stratify their patient care. Third-party clinical researchers, epidemiologists, and HEOR professionals can gain anonymized access for research and clinical trials. I want to show you now a brief video introducing us a bit and then come back and explain how this can be used as well as introduce you further to some of my colleagues. Thank you very much. Patients are at the center of everything Clinarion does. We are committed to the early detection, prevention, and cure for all chronic and acute diseases using our patented technology for the good of patients and society. We are growing our coverage of patients around the world, collaborating with many regulators and governments in an ecosystem of private and public partners to improve patient lives worldwide. By putting the focus back onto patients' needs and experiences, Clinarion helps researchers understand the patient journey to increase medical knowledge and support advanced research. Clinarion makes it easier for patients to access the most innovative clinical studies. Imagine faster patient access to medicines and improved health outcomes with Clinarion's real-world data solutions. We're Clinarion. How can we help you? I want to introduce now my colleague Sebastian who will actually talk a little bit about our PNX network, our coverage, our query tool, and obviously how this works with our data across our network. Take it away, Sebastian. Hi, this is Sebastian, and I would like to tell you a little more about our current and projected network coverage, as well as the network architecture and an example on how queries can be designed in Patient Network Explorer. On this map, you can see that we are currently able to query 29.7 million patient records across 67 hospitals and clinics in 15 countries with a strong focus on the rest of world market. With a total of 89 contracted sites still in our implementation pipeline, we are projecting a growth of 53 million in patient records in existing and new countries. For example, Spain, Colombia, Switzerland and Armenia. Once installed and set up, Patient Network Explorer, or PNX, allows for querying federated, anonymized, aggregated data using complex variations of demographics, diagnoses, procedures, treatment, and lab test information updated on a daily basis. Patient data stays at the hospital and is never extracted. The system is fully available for the hospital staff who can query their own data in a much deeper granularity, re-identify patients who match a query, and run analyses on their harmonized patient data pool for research but also health economic use cases. Designing a query with PNX is almost as simple as drag and drop, and thanks to Clinarion's patented technology, all available codes are harmonized to a single data model. In this example to your right, we have been looking for female patients between 40 and 75 years and created two scenarios, one with a diagnosis medication combination and the other one with only the code for diabetes mellitus type 1. Adding lab criteria as shown below using time restrictions and a value threshold can further narrow down the target patient population. And next up, you will hear Douglas again on the topic of Clinarian's data as a service capabilities. Thank you, Sebastian. In addition to the coverage and the query capability that Sebastian's mentioned, I wanna now discuss in the next few minutes, the longitudinal nature of our data within our network. In many cases, going back five to 10 years, giving you capabilities 
to look at patients, how they've been treated, and also look at outcomes as well as their other care metrics. This example is from leukemia showing first instance in the clinic and PNX uh, 10 years ago and showing a distribution across time, giving you some example of obviously this particular condition. In the next slide, I want to focus um, on multiple myeloma and give you the preview of a poster that we're developing around multiple loma instance in our network. This particular example shows you Turkey first instance in 2018, uh, where there was uh, 1,330 patients found out of a total country instance based upon the WHO of 2,331. You can see here that we can identify both patient diagnostics. We can start looking at comorbidities. And then in the next slide, we can start looking at administered therapeutics as well as also treatment regimes. In this case, the example of bertizumab in various combinations with this treatment group. The example of this uh, shows you that we can longitudinally be able to start identifying specific diseases and start doing predictive modeling, looking at therapeutic insights, as well as compound usage statistics, helping with both adverse events reporting, you know, looking at patient conditions, as well as also demographic treatment, as well as also healthcare market insights, looking at frequency and tr disease usage based diagnostics. This wraps up our presentation and our presentation in bio. We look forward to meeting with you and talking to you about our network, our capabilities, both in terms of patient